हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे टॉपिक इज हाउ प्राइस फ्लोर्स अफेक्ट मार्केट आउटकम्स बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू दैट इफ यू हैव एंड वॉच इट्स लास्ट वीडियो दैट इज हाउ प्राइस सीलिंग्स अफेक्ट मार्केट आउटकम्स दैन काइंडली वॉच इट एंड देन कम बैक टू दिस वीडियो लेटर लेट स्टार्ट प्राइस फ्लोर इट इज अ लीगल मिनिमम ऑन द प्राइस एट विच अ गुड कैन बी सोल्ड that means a minimum price set by the government at least this price will be received by the seller let's understand this concept with the help of an example imagine now that the government is persuaded by the pleas of the national organization of ice cream makers whose members feel that dollar 3 equilibrium price is too low that means right now ice cream sellers are receiving dollar 3 as the market price and they feel that this price is too low in a response the government might institute a price floor that means the government can set a minimum price at least this price will be received by the seller now two outcomes are possible let's see the first outcome here we have two axes on the vertical axis we have taken price of ice cream cone and on the horizontal axis we have taken quantity of ice cream cones this is the demand curve supply curve intersection point will be referred as equilibrium point dollar 3 is assumed as equilibrium price and 100 ice cream cones is assumed as equilibrium quantity so right now sellers are receiving this dollar 3 as their market price and they feel that this price is too low in a response the government can set a minimum price or a price floor so let's suppose that the government has set a price floor you can see that this uh, price floor is below the equilibrium price let's take it as dollar 2 now according to me the main agenda the main purpose of uh, setting this price floor is not fulfilled because market forces will naturally move the economy to the equilibrium and this price floor will have no effect on the price or the quantity sold that means if earlier sellers were receiving dollar 3 as their market price in this case also they will receive dollar 3 as the market price so the main agenda of setting the price floor is not fulfilled and that is the reason we can term this case as a price floor that is not binding it is not binding on the market let's see the other outcome again we have the same same situation that uh, right now sellers are receiving dollar 3 as their market price and they feel that this price is too low so in a response the government can set a price floor in this case this price floor set by the government is above the equilibrium price let's take it as dollar 4 now the main purpose the main agenda of setting this price floor is fulfilled because when the market forces tend to move the economy towards the equilibrium price but when the market price hits this price floor it can fall no further because according to law this is the minimum price that at least dollar 4 will be received by the seller so the market price cannot fall beyond dollar 4 clear and that is the reason we can term this case as a price floor that is binding it is a binding constraint on the market clear now at this price you can see that the quantity demanded is up to this level so 80 ice cream cones is assumed as quantity demanded and quantity supplied is up to this level one twenty ice cream cones is assumed as quantity supplied as we can observe that the quantity supplied is greater than quantity demanded by 
this portion right so this portion will be referred as surplus or excess supply in the case of a price floor some sellers are unable to sell all they want at the market price the sellers who appeal to the personal biases of the buyers perhaps due to racial or familial ties are better able to sell their goods than those who do not by contrast the rationing mechanism in a free competitive market is both efficient and impersonal because when the market for ice cream reaches its equilibrium sellers can sell all they want at the equilibrium price thank you